Uh, ticket sales for the showdown have been uh, unprecedented. Uh, we're already at over 48,000 members, which is terrific. Uh, this afternoon, uh, in consultation with the AFL, we're able to release another uh, approximately 500 tickets that will go on sale tomorrow for daily ticket sales. So there'll be about uh, 300 seats and 250 standing room only tickets available for the showdown. So uh, still the best way for people to, to, uh, to get to the game is uh, the club's still got a uh, reserve seat and season ticketed memberships. And uh, you know we're selling you know, in excess of 200 of those a day at the moment, which is, uh, which is terrific for the club. But there will be some extra tickets on sale tomorrow albeit only 500, so for those people that are keen to get along to the game, uh, get in quickly, log on to Ticketek and uh, they'll be available from 12 o'clock until sold out. What are all the ways you can get a hold of those tickets? Is it only through Ticketek? Uh, Ticketek online, uh, you can also call uh, Ticketek and also you can go into one of their outlets. So that's midday tomorrow? From midday tomorrow, so we'll make an announcement obviously this afternoon and also confirm that tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, but uh, those remaining uh, 500 daily tickets will go on sale from from 12 o'clock tomorrow on Ticketek, um, but still the best way to guarantee your, your place at the showdown is to buy a season ticketed membership through the club. How far are you off completing that? How many more memberships do you need to sell? No, we've got, uh, we've got a lots of different products that we can sell, so um, just one, once we sell out, that doesn't mean we can't keep selling memberships. Once we get through the showdown, uh, we'll be able to sell three game tickets, general, general admission tickets at terrific value, so we're really confident that our membership will continue to grow as uh, more and more people want to come to watch footy at Adelaide Oval. So put simply, how did these 550 uh, tickets become available? Uh, well, 250 of them are standing room only tickets, um, so that's in consultation with the stadium when they work out um, uh, you know, how many people can stand on the hill and also some of the concourse areas. And then the extra 300 seats, the AFL keep an allocation at the start of the pre-sale of 1,000 tickets for their requirements and uh, they confirmed yesterday that they were able to give a 300 of those back to us to sell as dailies. So Is that's that the 300 seats. Sorry, is that just for this week or would that be an ongoing thing? Or? No, that's just that's just for this week. So each each round you need to keep an allocation of tickets and that, that's what that is, but each week they notify you a week out from the game how many they can give back. So the SMA's basically worked out that 250 more can fit in this standing room, is that what you're saying? Uh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. So there are. Um, so in total, there'll be three thousand standing room only tickets that will have been sold. So there've been two and a half thousand so far, and then there's another five hundred. So um, the the stadium, in consultation with the architects, have worked out the standing room capacity for both the hill, and also there are some significant concourse areas around the new east and southern stands. And that'll so be people shouldn't expect to be able to get a seat on the hill. It'll be standing room only. No, I wouldn't be bringing the deck chairs. Um, I reckon it'll be. Uh, and the atmosphere atmosphere up here will be really quite unique. It'll be fantastic, and it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. 28 degrees, and um, yeah, but I wouldn't be bringing the deck chairs. So, can we, what is capacity, with it, including all of this? Well, so there are 50,000 seats, and then uh, you throw in the 3,000 standing, so 53,000 uh, for the stadium. So, you're pretty confident you're going to break the showdown record of 51,000. Well, it's relying on all, all those members turning up, but given the demand that we've had and uh, the queries we've had for people to be able to either upgrade their tickets or, or pass them on to other people, all the Port Adelaide, uh, all football memberships, in fact, are fully transferable. So if there's some reason that people can't come, they can give them to, uh, to other people. And um, we know that the showdown tickets are the hottest, hottest tickets in town, so I don't think there are going to be too many left at home in cupboards. There's still some scaffolding standing up here on the Eastern Stand. You confident? Absolutely, yep. Really? Absolutely, yeah. So what do you think, what do you make of the scaffolding still being up on the season stand? No, look, I mean the stadium have been terrific all along. Um, they, they've said that the, the, you know, the stadium will be finished, ready for that first showdown and we've got absolutely no reason to think that that's not going to be the case. And when you actually start to walk through the eastern stand and look at some of the facilities and we've been through the change rooms today and a number of other areas, it really is phenomenal and I, I know that um, you know, when, when the South Australian footy public get in here on Saturday afternoon and we encourage them to get here nice and early, um, they're going to be blown away. It really is a fantastic, um, a fantastic facility, and um, you know something that all South Australians can be really proud of. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, um, the one of the great things about Adelaide Oval is that it, it caters for um, caters for so many different things. So from a corporate perspective, um, it gives you a, a really corporate experience with functions or corporate boxes, but also then you've got facilities like the locker room where um, it gives you a really inner sanctum experience of the footy, where those people can get in, actually see the players warming up, and um, you know, enjoy a you know pie and a pasty at the footy, and and um, you know a really unique experience that you don't get in too many other stadiums around around the country. And how do the boys feel about the one-way glass? Do you know? Uh, well, I don't think they'll notice that it's actually there. They'll just think that it's a wall, and um, they won't see the people peering through the other side. So it's probably it's perfect.
Are you aware of any uh, Crow supporters that have actually bought power season tickets just to make sure they're at this game? Yeah, look, uh, um, look I'm sure there have been a few. Um, but uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, there's no doubt that um, early on people could have bought a three-game ticket and that would have given them access to the pre-sale. There were probably a few that did that, but overwhelmingly in the majority that we've seen is, you know, the Port Adelaide community has really got behind our, our footy club over the last couple of years. Um, now, coming back to Adelaide Oval, um, it, it opens up football to so many more people out in the east and country areas as well. Public transport kicks in um, in terms of how you can actually get to the footy. Um, so, look, you know, we're, we're at over 48,000 members now and, and we're expecting that number to continue to grow over the coming weeks. Is there anything that the club or the AFL are doing to deter scalpers? Uh, well, as we said a few weeks ago, the AFL does monitor, uh, you know, the eBays and those types of web websites. And um, you know, all we'd say to people is um, there is a risk that if you buy a ticket through those means, that your barcode will be cancelled. So, um, you know, like we said, there are 500 tickets going on sale tomorrow via Ticketek. Apart from that, um, contact the club, buy a season ticket of membership, and uh, you'll be able to get into the historic showdown this Saturday. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.